probably just the insurance company's man. Someone's always sent along to protect their interests. But don't I worry. I feel as if a ghost were following ah, me. I've been touched by the heat. He's our man. He's our man! You hear, Morgan? He's our man! You look just like a scarecrow. I am your pallbearer. Are you going to Green Hill? Yes. Ah. May I suggest that we get to know each other? It's a long way to Green Hill. Reverend Logan. Maggie Sam. Roy Hughes. It's a pleasure.
General Tampico will be content. Vamos. Job, Lasky. <laughs> Richard Green Wells. Okay, let's... Bad news, General. El Moreno and the gold, they never got to the hideout, General. Mm. Lieutenant Miguel El Moreno is more trustworthy than all of you put together. He is my best man. Don't try to tell me he double-crossed me. Thinking the same thing? Sure. Why don't we grab the gold? I wouldn't try it. With Morgan and Lasky around, we wouldn't have it more than a minute. You don't want any of the gold? Then get.
Excelentísimo señor, José Manuel Francisco Mendoza, Montezuma de la Plata, Perez Rodríguez, better known to all men as El Tampico, salute delight, Mayor Randall of Gold Spring. my money. Why, Stuhl, I didn't know that you had another partner. Why don't you shut up, Hallman? You'll get what's coming to Alaska. That's $5,000. 5000 But our deal was 2000 5000 Why, you dirty son of a... <clears throat> if I were, I'd have charged you 10 Now, get out! It's just an advance. Don't forget it, if you want to collect insurance. Hmm? I'm sorry for uh, intruding, Mrs. Holman. Be seeing you, partners. How dare he! Very nice work, Stuhl, old man. Now we just have to wait for a little blackmail from the mayor's widow. Worry over your box of candy, Holman. I'll take care of the finances. Mm -hmm. Just stay fat. Thank you. 
luck, Dusty. Hey? Go polish your coffins. I finished a new casket today. Well, go climb into it then. It's exactly your size. Well, you scrawny little embalmer. He's my friend. shiny. It bothers my eyes. I'm out. Five hundred. I raise you to one thousand five hundred. Six thousand five hundred. Damn it! You bring me luck, Meg. <laughs> Full house. Aces high. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> One moment. If I'm not mistaken, I think your five thousand's missing. Royals straight. Flush. That's luck, isn't it, friend? something for you? Nope. been the fifth.
Yeah. Sally. Call the boys. to be my friend, you know that. <laughs> Old Dusty will be your guide. You know you can get lost in this here town. I hope you know what I mean. Huh? Might say I'm partial to you, and this town's wide open to anyone Dusty's partial to. Uh, hey, friend. Uh, did you hear what I said? Not now. Let's get a haircut. I don't need a haircut. I like to shave myself. Wouldn't you rather go and have a drink? Quiet, Dusty. Calm down. Ah, it ain't so easy to stay calm. It's as hot as blazes. A man could die of thirst. 
Huh, can you picture old Dusty just waiting around here for a couple of hours without a drop of whiskey to drink? Sit down. I'll tell you a story. Come on, what do you take me for? But you see, Dusty, this is a true story. Some time back, a band of Mexicans attacked a stagecoach. They were just about to divide the gold when another man and his band ambushed them and killed everyone. Uh, and now that other man is as rich as uh, uh, King Solomon. No, Dusty. The strong box was full of rocks. <laughs> Guess they pulled a fast one on him. No, those rocks were worth their weight in gold. <laughs> I swear you've really lost me now. And the man? He killed all his own men. Who was it told you? Another man who wanted 50%. He wanted 50% of the cargo. Of the rocks? No, the gold. But the man was too greedy. He wanted it all for himself. How did it wind up in the end? The greedy one. Let's say he got hauled away by a grave digger. Shut that watch. Why? Don't you like music? Oh. Uh, talking of grave diggers. Uh, uh, since we got a while to wait, I want to show you something you're bound to like. I used to be a sculptor in Boston Same in the younger days. Same old story, and, Dusty. Huh? Never did understand how a prize-winning sculptor could rise to the glory of town undertaker. Yours truly makes the very finest coffins in the county. Morgan. a bad customer, you know. Uh, I seen him snuff out a candle at more than 100 yards with a Winchester. And Morgan's just as bad. Likes to use a knife instead of a gun. He's like a cat, that one. <laughs> I ain't got the faintest idea what you're up to, friend. But if you want my advice, I'd steer clear of them two sidewinders. You like my little studio, eh? <laughs> I call it the vestibule of the beyond. <laughs> Guess it's the right place for me, eh? As an artist and a pallbearer. <laughs> hey, Pops. Give me that dollar. You don't need it. <laughs> you think I'm the... the owner? <laughs> I wish I were. No, no. It's the banks. They own it. I just work in here, that's all. Not that there's that much to do in this town. Too bad. An artist like you should get more work. Ah, uh, ain't much for bragging on it, but I still know how to handle my trade. I turned sculpture into funeral art. The rich must always be respected, eh, Dusty? Even as corpses. And they swindle you when they're alive. <laughs> when, uh, when I was young, I won a sculpture prize in Boston. This solid gold engraved plaque, but it wasn't solid gold. I was swindled. You know what it really is? Bronze with just a thin layer of gold on it. <laughs> and whose casket is this? This casket, Miss Jane ordered it for her husband, the late Mayor Randall of Gold Spring. She wants to take him to Tucson for burial. That's where he came from. And of course, she wants to do it in high style. <laughs> Hey, cut a piece and eat it if you like, hmm? As long as it isn't human flesh. <laughs> you know, the very first minute I saw you the other day in White Canyon, I had a strange impression. You looked like a hyena snuffling among those corpses. 
Dusty, here's a customer for you. The story you told us at the barbers, it ends. Right now. Hey, Dusty, get to work. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, I think I have a side uh, on hand. I missed you on purpose a minute ago. I don't kill from behind. Turn around. Let's go. You 
won't get out of there alive. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you, Lasky? Huh. Then, Lasky, that fifty per cent. I bet you the citizens of Gold Spring will regret having shed so few tears for their poor mayor when you step into his shoes. Nobody is ever content with what they have, Hallman. What do you think, Evelyn? Al, if you had to take care of all your business alone, you wouldn't even have the time to eat. Evening, partners. Hmm. Uh, it seems, uh, we're not the only ones who know. This little venture with the gold is getting kind of popular. What are you trying to say? That man with the musical watch, Sartana. He knows everything. Do you think we're idiots, Lasky? If anybody knows anything, it's because of your big mouth. $5,000 for that man's corpse. Uh, and 10000 to keep my mouth shut. So the blackmail goes on. What about the plan, Jeff? Hadn't you and Al better do something? I'll come to you later as soon as he's asleep. Not tonight. The time isn't right yet, Evelyn. Even if Lask is not lying, I've still got to make sure. Then we'll make our move. See you tomorrow, Holman. Then again, it might all be a game of Lasky's. I couldn't stand it anymore without seeing you. Hmm. Jeff! That was a very stupid thing to do coming here. You're still the late mayor's widow. Jeff. What's the matter? I'm worried about... Someone is after the gold. Someone who knows about it. Sartana. <laughs> we have to hurry, Jane. Your husband's body must leave for Tucson immediately. That gold is our lives.
your roommate. You want to keep me company? I might as well. Good. <laughs> uh, my room's cozy. All right. <laughs> I've heard talk about you. They say you're kind of mysterious. <laughs> A surprise. A new way of making love. I learned it from a French lady. You throw a rope over a rafter and tie it to the back of a chair like this. Oh, I'm dying to see how it ends up. The men in this town have got no imagination. Looks complicated. How's it work? Uh, it's only a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are we waiting for? Nothing, just thinking about the trap. Well, don't just sit there and stare. Come on, give me a hand. Otherwise, we'll never get to the good part. Sure, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Say, would you mind doing something for me? Now, what would that be? Now, now, this is something serious. <laughs> the game's getting real interesting. Well... There's something I have to do here in town, and you could be very helpful. What do you want? Just information. What are Stuhl and Holman really like? You should know them. You've been here a long time. Them two filthy vultures. And that sneaky snake, Stuhl. He goes to bed with Hallman's wife. And that overstuffed slob, Hallman, comes here and pays to see me undress. You know, he never even touches me! <laughs> I like that melody. Does it remind you of anything? Huh? I always liked it. Hmm. Tampico always sings it. Of course, he's got a voice like a buffalo. <laughs> uh, and Lasky? What about him? You're a little too curious, friend. Put your hat back on. I'm no lady. <laughs> the game's over. Take your clothes and get out. Ah, you weren't no fun at all. Sorry about that. Never got to go. 
green hill. The Whoa, take it easy, Katie. Whoa, well, there, you never run so fast, even when you surprise a jackrabbit. Didn't you hear what I said, oh. Buster? <laughs> oh, yes. Only I wonder who is it that's really got the gold. <laughs> I lost all my money in the bank. Uh, let me go. I got to tell the sheriff. I lost everything, everything. Right. We got to do something. You hear what something. he said? <laughs> Mister, just imagine if this here were Dallas instead of uh, uh, Goldsbury. Uh, uh, the Gazette would carry two great big headlines right on the front page. Boy, the late Mayor Randall's widow goes to Tucson, Arizona, accompanying her husband's corpse. <laughs> I hope it holds up. It's my finest work, this coffin, you know. And the other headline? Mm, the gold didn't arrive. It just disappeared. <sighs> Tongue dusty. And what do you know about the gold? Hmm? It's a hunch. A hunch? <laughs> I smell it. I thought I did. I just wasn't sure. Well, I can smell you're on a trail, only you ain't no hound dog. No, sir, that's for sure. No, you gotta smell more like a hired gunslinger. Or let's say like an insurance agent, or smell like a like a... Like dead bodies? <laughs> you got a mighty fine sense of humor there. Now, what would you say to a glass of whiskey? I'm as dry as a sand dude. Yeah. I reckon it might just be because you talk too much. Here, it's on me. <laughs> A whole lifetime of art forgotten for a drop of whiskey. <laughs> Life takes a lot out of you, don't it, Dusty? Yeah. It's hard to take the right road and stay on it. You should stick to art if you're good at it, Dusty. A prize like this is worth aiming at again, if you fix your mind on it. First prize, huh? Yep. <laughs> Watching you the other night, I got the idea you're kind of artist, too. I mean, you'd set your mind on winning at poker, and you're pretty good at staying healthy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Is it far to Tampico's Ranch, oh, Dusty? It's uh, two hours' ride. Why? Hmm. El Moreno is a pig! Treason is punished with death, jefe. How many times I tell you that my name is Don Jose Manuel Francisco Mendoza Montezuma de la Plata, Perez Rodriguez. But you can call me Henry Latampico. Mm -hmm. Now give me a shot. Where was I? Muchachos! El Moreno has double-crossed us. I'll appoint a new lieutenant. Yes, but who? Let's make Carlos the new lieutenant. Carlos Benito? Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Compañeros, long live Lieutenant Carlos Benito! Benito! And a bullet para Moreno. <laughs> El Moreno alive? <laughs> Ramon.
Israel Morenos. Where are my men? Where is the gold? Tampico, you... What's that? Excelentissimo General Tampico. <clears throat> Excelentissimo General Tampico, there are two violent means to gain power and riches. <laughs> well, we prefer violence of a diplomatic nature. May I offer you a candy? I don't trust you, Holman. They're not poisoned. <laughs> General, you must sign these. What's this? Look, insurance papers. We want what's coming to us. Insurance money for the stolen gold. And the stolen gold. Your gold, our gold. And all our friendly clients' gold deposits, which have never even left Gold Spring, will be ours as well. It's fine for us gentlemen to trust each other, but it's better not to. Oh, it's in the cemetery. In the mayor's casket. You can check it if you want. Three equal parts, General. And El Moreno. El Moreno. El Moreno's dead. And also your men, killed by the same man who filched the watch and who sent us the case full of rocks. Rocks. Rocks in the place of the gold. We're not so foolish as to leave such a fortune in the hands of your muchachos or the Lasky gang. All we want is your signature. Bueno. <laughs> has got to disappear. First of all, there is Lasky. He shot Moreno for the gold. Lasky.
friend is out of bullets. Come on out, Satana. away from the cult. Holman's dead. You're trapped here. And I'm following Stool, who's going after the gold. He won't get far. Over there. Starting to worry. Where is Stool's house? Hey, what's your
We leave tomorrow morning, Evelyn. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we'll be far away from here. You and me will have the... the life I've always dreamt of. And all that gold only for us. Wasn't in tune with the music. Funny, but it seems I'm also looking for the gold from the stagecoach. I don't know where it is, but your partner Tampico's going after it tonight. Do you expect me to believe that? Maybe you think I'm a fool, but you're an even bigger one. You don't have to believe me, but I still want five thousand dollars for that information. <laughs> sure. Seems you're a blackmailer just like Lasky. <laughs> Mrs. Hallman? Sartana. You have to go, Jeff. You have to go check the gold before Tasha oh, is able him. to. What if it's true? Nearly sunrise. It's too dangerous here. We need dynamite. It's a shame if Tampico was to simply pull up with all that gold. It's not Tampico that has to be watched. It's us. But just the same, Lasky. Keep an eye on them. Close it. How did it go? Tampico killed him and took the gold. The mayor's widow is not going to bother us anymore because I. Why did you get rid of her before finding out what Stu was up to? It wasn't very wise. Yes. I lost my head, Evelyn. Unfortunately, we've lost the gold to Tampico. Now you can go to him, dear. Oh, no. You didn't suspect that I... 
I only wanted to try to stop Stool and Tampico from putting one over on you and getting your gold. Yes. My gold. Muchachos. Vamos. Open it. Excelentissimo Senor Don Jose Manuel Francisco. Uh, General. Fools of us. <laughs> I've been made a fool of. <laughs> Who's made a fool of you, Lasky?
It's too good to believe. You're the cleverest man of them all. I did it all for us, Evelyn. We've got to get out of town with the wagon before dawn. Al, you know deep down I never underestimated you. I always knew you'd strike it really big. And now you've gone beyond my wildest hopes. Oh, I'm so glad I stuck with you. Al. Yeah? Isn't it funny, dear? I don't know why, but just this moment, your family album came to my mind. I can see you. The way you were in that photo where you were wearing your West Point uniform when you were a cadet. You cut such a fine figure then. You were... You were fascinating, Al. And you still are. Please don't make that face, dear. I'm not talking to you as your wife now, but as a woman who knows she's got a real man. I didn't know you then, but for me, you haven't changed. Cadet Hallman, your glasses. I want you to look at me and know that I've always loved you. Dear. All that lovely, lovely gold I've dreamed of. But how will we get it across the border? It's going in Randall's coffin. The mayor's coffin. Mm -hmm. The one that's going to Arizona. And us too. We'll go far away from here. We'll go to St. Louis, New Orleans, San Francisco. We'll travel, travel, travel. Yes, wherever you want, however. <laughs> Evelyn. now where the gold is. Then I killed him. We have to get out of here, Lasky. Quick, I'll take you to the gold. Come on. <laughs> Lasky. Where is it? I planned everything. We'll be so happy. Where's the gold? You and me, Lasky. The life I've always dreamed of. Where? I'll show you. Over on the wagon, the casket.
50? <laughs> it's all or nothing. Just like in the cemetery, eh, Lasky? I wasn't a ghost then, and I'm not now. You can't do this. I have to. I've got no bullets left. Is that so? I'll see you. And it's empty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You are the... Fixed ideas. Goodbye, Dusty. Mm. But, but my casket. Are you taking Randall with you? Hey! Did you hear me? Me who ya? A first class Paul Barra. <laughs> mm. 